Hey, what's up, guys? Mitch HD here, and I'm here with a first for 1 to 200 scale die cast. This is a 737-900 by Gemini Jets in a 1 to 200 scale. It's a Delta Airlines 737-900 ER with winglets. Uh, make sure you check the description of this video for anything you may have missed throughout this video. Also, my social media, such as my Facebook and Twitter, will be down there. And the website where I pre-ordered this from, which was easytoys.com. So anyway, this is my fifth 737 model, and it's my fourth Delta Airlines model. Some information about Delta Airlines. Operations base, is out, operations base is out of Atlanta in Georgia. Main hubs are Amsterdam Schiphol, Charles de Gaulle, Cincinnati, Cincinnati Northern Kentucky, Detroit Metropolitan Wayne County, Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta, JFK, LaGuardia, Boston Logan, Los Angeles, Minneapolis St. Paul, Narita, Salt Lake City and Seattle Tacoma. They were founded on the 30th of May 1924 as Duff Halland, or Duff, uh, sorry, Huff Delan Dusters in Macon, Georgia. They were renamed to Delta Air Services on the 17th of June 1929, having commenced its first passenger service on this date. Their fleet consists of 799 mainline aircraft, that's not including regional, as of the 26th of June 2015. 124 of those are 737s, and 41 of the 737s are the 900 series. They have 13 more 900s on order. They have 326 destinations across all six continents, and their 737s fly within North America. This aircraft's first flight uh, was on the 21st of August 2014, and was delivered to Delta on the 5th of September 2014. Boeing customer code for Delta is 32. Alright, so now let's, let's take a look around the box. Gemini 200 Delta Sky Team. Picture the aircraft. And Boeing 737. 1 to 200 scale and all that other kind of stuff. Very, very standard Gemini Jets. Narrow body box. All the information on the back you can read it if you want. And there's the licensed logo. Open it up, and there she is. All right, guys. So the model is now out of the box, and we'll take a look at the front of the aircraft on the port side first. So we see cockpit windows, uh, window wipers, pitot tube static ports, the nose cone, SkyTeam logo because they're part of the SkyTeam group, which is a group of 20 airlines. And then we have the main part of the aircraft, which is in dedication to refocus this. If you can see it. it. Says it's got Woolman's signature, so this is uh Collett Everman Woolman, uh C Woolman principal founder and first CEO of Delta Airlines. So um who is Collett Everman Woolman? Sorry, let's get that focus right there. Um, he was born on the 8th of October 1889. He was one of the founders of, of Huff Dalland Dusters and became vice president and general manager. Due to financial trouble, he sought after local businessmen to up and start a mail and passenger company, which is where he became vice president and general manager of Delta Air Services. On the 1st of November 1965, he was appointed Delta Airlines' first ever CEO. He died later, he died a year later, on 11 September 1966, at 76 years old, the same year they stopped their crop dusting operations. Following his death, several memorials have been made in his honour. A reconditioned 1925 Huff Dalland Duster was presented to the Smithsonian Institution by employees of Delta, Another memorial sits at the entrance to the Technical Operations Center in Atlanta. So that's just a little bit of information. Um, well respected person at Delta and in aviation. And then uh, on the gear door, we see 3827. 827 is part of the registration. 3, I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Maybe it means 
that's a 737 I guess not so sure and some of the door details are pretty pretty awesome Delta titles with the logo inboard landing light and the beautiful CFMI CFM 567B 27E engine and if you didn't know CFM International or CFMI is a joint venture between General Electric and Snecma so uh, actually I'll just show you inside the engine nicely detailed engine so we've got the engine straight there and it does spin a little bit as you can see what about this one no that one does not spin Oops. but at least one of them spins I guess and coming along the leading edge we have the blue winglet and the red navigation light and continuing down the fuselage the American flag because Delta Airlines is one of the flag carriers of the USA and the registration N827DN or November 827 Delta November and then the Delta logo on the tail we'll take a look at the APU very well detailed APU there give you a nice shot of the back of the aircraft I'm not sure, tell me what you think I think the left horizontal stabilizer is a bit high up or maybe the right one's a bit too low down, I'm not quite too sure I'm not fam all um, familiar with the 737 but uh, it def it's definitely out of shape there right so let's take a look on the starboard side now at the front cockpit windows, pedo tube static ports and the um, signature of C woman sky team logo delta titles and the front cargo container door inboard landing lights there and the CF M56 engine the winglets with the green navigation light as you can see and back on the fuselage All right, let me see the bulk bin door at the back there um, or rear cargo container door and the registration American flag rear cabin door if you can hear now, you can probably hear a plane going over, going overhead. Um, Delta logo on the tail. All right, so now let's take a look underneath the aircraft. There's the first gear there. Antenna, yellow antenna, pretty interesting. Delta titles underneath, and the hole for the stand main gears and the part where they retract up to of course there are no doors that come over the wheels itself got a antenna there, Gemini Jets logo let's take a look underneath the engine right there try and get a good view it's a bit shaded from the camera um, there isn't hardly any light getting through so just want to focus this there we go you see flaps, slats, ailerons same on this side continuing down towards the APU housing antenna there little hump here for if there's a tail strike and then the APU housing alright so let's take a look on top of the aircraft and there's the engines uh, anti-collision light got an antenna Overwing emergency exit slat, and then we got on the wing flap slats, ailerons, and spoilers. Same on this side as well. Very detailed. And this wing, actually, if you look very closely, 
This happened with my KLM 777 300 ER. But if you look really closely, this wing is loose, and I don't think this is in properly. I'm not going to try and pull it off for yet, but it needs to be glued down, so just be careful of that. As I said, I've had an issue with the KLM 777 300 ER, which I just posted on YouTube. So if you get your models, just check for that kind of stuff. You know, just give it a little wiggle. Uh, I see if it's um, make make sure it's not loose or anything, any of the parts, the engines or whatever, because I've had troubles in the past and troubles recently. All right, so we'll get through the seating of this aircraft. So there is one configuration. So we have um, first class, 21 recliner seats from rows one to five. So that's here to here. And then from here to here, we have uh, Delta Comfort Plus, which is 21 seats from rows 10 to 13, and then Economy 139 seats from rows 14 to 37, so about here all the way to the rear of the aircraft. And that brings a total to 180 seats. Now, I just want to do a quick comparison on size between the 700, 800 and 900 series. So, first off I have, actually I'll bring them all in, um, but I'll first bring in a Southwest 737-700. And then the Alaska 737-800, which I just posted. And I'll just give you a rundown of the lengths um, of the aircraft. So, the 700 is 33.65 uh, meters or 11... Um, or... Sorry, 111 feet uh, and 4 inches. The 800 is 39.47 meters or 129 feet 5 inches. And the 900 is 42.1 meters or 138 feet and 2 inches. So I'll put the Delta 737 in the middle. And we'll compare it with the 700. And the 800. And with all three of them, if you can see that, I'll bring the camera up a bit. There we go. Nice size comparison between the uh, three major next generation aircraft. Of course, there's the 600, but that's pretty much discontinued now. Um, not making any more unless you have a special order in which Boeing will convince you to upgrade to a 700. Alright, so now it's time to put the aircraft on its stand. But first, I just want to show you, um, wheels should roll, they don't really roll. Front nose gear, uh, doesn't really turn, it should though. And here is the stand, chrome stand, uh, be nice to get a wooden base narrow body stand, but anyway, as I said in the last video, I don't trust these stands, so I would never keep it on the stand, I'm just trying to get this in here, and it's being a little difficult. Hopefully, I can get that in there and let it stay in there. I don't think it wants to. And if it doesn't want to, I'm not going to bother any further. Let's see how that goes. Alright, 
it's on a lean, but I'm not going to play with it anymore. No, it's not staying in. Let's just leave it at that. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Yeah, as I said, don't trust these sands, and that's another reason why I don't trust them. It will fall off. These wheels you can take off if you want to put them in the in-flight configuration. They're magnetic. Uh, front ones on the 737s are difficult to take off. I'm not going to take it off because it has been trouble for me when I've tried to get off before. And if you want to put in the in-flight configuration, full focus, you have the gear doors there. Alright guys, so a pretty poor ending to this video, but I hope that doesn't deter you away from it. Um, it's a beautiful model, although the stand's not all that great. You can always buy the narrow body stands which will fit this model. So anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Um, comment, tell me what you think of it, tell me, tell me if you're going to get it. I think it's a really, really nice model. Um, it is the first, as I said, the first 737-900 in die cast in 1-200 to scale. So, and it will be pretty popular because it is Delta. Uh, also share the video so that people can know, if, um, know about it and see if they want to get it. And subscribe for more. I have two more videos on the way. Both 777-300ERs, one of TAM and one of Garuda Indonesia. So those will be pretty awesome videos. Just go check out my previous video, the Alaska 737-800 with the split scimitar winglets. And my other uh, seven videos, which I just posted. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you next time.